Daphne Beach. We are able to hook up with Glenna Milberg now. Glenna, tell us where you are and how things are going. Uh, you may have just seen us wiping off the lens. That's us. We're uh, Collins Avenue, Lori, and 60th Street on Miami Beach. Uh, we picked this location for a few reasons to come to you. One, we're next to a big concrete building on the east side uh, with no trees around that could fall upon us, so we're good. Uh, and secondly, just an amazing visual of the wind down Collins Avenue. Uh, the beach is just to the east of us. That's where the wind is blowing from. It looks like a, uh, at least where we are blowing east and what looks to be almost like a wind tunnel. I don't know how that registers if you can see it on the camera, but just sand and water and wind pouring out of the wind tunnel uh, that's right next to us down the block. You see all of you see the wind in the palm trees kind of whipping. So we're going through one of those really strong gusts that uh, we've been experiencing. And I wanna take you to some video we shot just a little while ago, driving through some residential neighborhoods. This is just um, roads blocked at every which way and more trees and probably more significantly more power lines falling by, literally by the minute. Um, there are so many trees and branches and big things and power lines blocking the different roadways that the, uh, the neighborhoods in Miami Beach are just impassable. So, so dangerous to be out on. Uh, come back to me right here. I wanna show you down a little bit this way, a construction site and what is blowing from the construction site. The most visual, I suppose, would be the big banners, which are paper. So in this case, the most visual things are probably the least dangerous things. Uh, you've been seeing on our newscast throughout the last few hours, different construction sites where the couple of crane collapses. I mean, this is going to be one of those lessons uh, that we take, this community takes away after the storm is over. Our construction sites in hurricane zones have just um, really not fared like they were expected to, in many cases like they were promised to. One more thing to show you here, this is one of those uh, condominiums where the garage, oh, now you probably hear me much better now. The garage is flooded. This looks to be a little less than a foot of water in the garage. It looks like here in this particular place, this is called Maison Grande. It looks like they've taken the cars out. There's just a couple of vehicles in here uh, and just kind of spooky. You can see that the nothing is going down the drain, which indicates that the water is so saturated, the ground is so saturated so far that the drain is just not draining. Um, and this probably is going to be the scene in a lot of the high rises on the beach because the water is now collecting. The um, last night when we were out here, the bands of rain, the space, but the time space between the bands of rain were long enough where there was some drainage that was able to take place, that is no longer the case. This, this kind of rain has been happening since about seven o'clock, eight o'clock this morning. And uh, this is one of those things that a lot of people put pipes in and try to drain, and this has been going full force. Lori Calvin, the real story here in this neighborhood, um, the residential neighborhoods are the inundation of flooding and the wind blowing things onto the roads that are just too dangerous to be outside. There are people in this, where we stopped here, this particular condominium, there were people who stayed. Uh, they have power, I think they're on generator. Some of the people who decided not to evacuate and um, they, they say they had an okay time of it. But look at this. This is that wind tunnel I was talking to you about. So not everywhere is the wind this strong right here. But this is, uh, Collins and 60th, right from the beach. I haven't seen any windows blown out in these newer buildings at all. You see none of them really are covered with any sort of protective covering. All of these are new buildings. Uh, when I say new, I'm gonna say the last um, probably 15 years. New since really stricter, much stricter building codes went into effect. So a lot of this is hurricane glass. Uh, we have not seen one broken window from our vantage point. That's some good news there. And uh, I, I hope anybody watching or listen, uh, listening to us here right now who may be in the Miami Beach vicinity is 
choosing not to be outside, risk being outside on the roads. Lori, Calvin, one more thing. I, while we're watching these palm trees, I want to just point out how palm trees are not the trees, generally speaking, that fall. You'll see a lot of leaves fall. Coconuts certainly are dangerous, left on. But the trees themselves are indigenous to, to Florida uh, and are flexible. And the root structure is such that you will see palm trees survive. And that's, that's a great lesson for anybody who landscapes, that when you have exotic species, as beautiful as they may be, they don't generally take the wind like this and in storms. That's, uh, those are the first things that uproot and fly and become projectiles and fall over. We passed uh, a significant amount of cars in driveways around Miami Beach that have trees now on top of them. Lena, we are, appreciate your live picture so much and your information there right at 60th and Collins. This helps people so much who got out of Miami Beach to see what is happening in their neighborhood. Glenna Milberg, thank you.